Today is New Year's Eve Eve, December 30th of uh, 2016. I've been dealing with, uh, I guess, worsening illness, which the voice might sound, might give off clues to that. Um, but of course, I'm still going to continue to put out videos because I could never retire. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, roughly, yeah, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Last night, I spoke with a user on Instagram who had a Dragon Ball avatar of, I think it was Vegeta. And I asked this user, um, you know, what do you think of because I name Gohan as one of the characters I like, and he says, oh yeah, he's in my top five. And I go, okay, well, uh, who's in the, re the rest of the top five? So it's other characters I, I like and that were big players in DBZ. And I ask him, who are your favorite DBZ characters? And at one point I ask him, you know, is Krillin in there? Because that's my either second or third, or sometimes first, depending on what part of the series I'm watching, um, favorite character. So he goes, oh, and, oh, he's in the top 20. The top 20. Um, and he proceeds to name Bardock and Samazu and Black. And I just, you know, I mean, to each his own, obviously. But I think the reason for that placement is because he wasn't naming uh, just characters from DBZ and kind of just the whole franchise overall. But it got me to thinking. There are a lot of people, and I've seen some videos on YouTube dated from last year. Um, where people talk about why they dislike Krillin, why they don't like his character. And every time they do, the, the, a common critique of his I hear is that he is useless in combat, um, which I have to disagree with on the scale of every character that's not, at least since the Buu Saga that is not Goku or Vegeta, gets to be anything more than a staller for uh, the villain. And, you know, that's cemented by the fact that just every character loses their uh, their ability to fight at some point, aside from those two. So, that's that. But, you know, my reasons for liking him are mainly that he is a character that I think was very reliable, was always around, he was dependable. He knew he was outmatched and he still tried. Um, you know, he just represented to me this pillar of what determination should be even when the odds are against you, you still give it your all you still try to do something you don't just walk in there defeated before you even begin and you know with Vegeta who was this guy's favorite or whatever um you know we could obviously name the Broly arc Broly arc the, the super's got me thinking all the movies are going to be adapted in the sh uh into sagas now we can name the Broly film and obviously I think that, yeah the stuff with Beerus too for the most part before you know he slaps his wife um so that's the main critique I hear and it really got me to thinking about a claim that was made by an acquaintance of mine which is that there are a couple of different types of Dragon Ball fans now, one of the realistic type guys who like stuff from kind of everything, but will still say, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. There, There's the younger generation, or the there's like, there's a certain generation that they said, that, that this guy said is obsessed with power and being able to fight, and that's the only, you know, thing that's cool. And I have to say, he, you know, this person that I spoke to kind of added to that fact. I mean, you look at just um, the characters that he named in his top group, you know, Bardock and, and Black and all the, you know, I think I think Broly was in there. Um, all these characters that, you know, are not necessarily known for having some cool personality or some defining character traits. No, they just show up and beat somebody up and, oh, man, favorite character. So that's you know, lame uh, to me. Because you kind of have a best of both worlds with um, Vegeta and Piccolo, where you know you have someone who keeps trying, loses, whatever, 
and actually does hit make the mark. But I've always liked characters I felt had more personality. You know, I, I think Krillin's funny. I think he stays useful for most of uh, the original manga. Obviously, in Super, they're not doing much with him. You know, he's in this universe survival poster, and I already know that's going to probably be garbage. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So... All I can say is I really don't get the disliking for him. He's one of my he's probably my favorite character post the cell arc. Um so yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching and have a good night.